Hey everybody, this is Bob Perrin. Oh, I'm sorry, no, this is John Angotti. And uh, just, Bob, I'm, I'm good friends with Bob, and one of the main reasons is not because we look alike, but just because I think we're kindred spirits, and we're the same age, and he's a wonderful guy that I've known forever, and, and him working for the JMJ Pregnancy Center there in Orlando, uh, doing great work, you know, he, he's found his own Calcutta, and in these difficult times that, you know, people are struggling to find, uh, you know, resources and things of that nature that I just wanted to share with you a couple things as an artist myself but as also as an adopted child that this place does wonderful things and saving lives and and, and bringing people back uh, you know it, to see that they are valuable and they have dignity and all that kind of stuff so my little piece of, the, of all this is as an adopted child myself I knew who my birth mother was and um, I had the opportunity with her years ago to ask her why she gave me up for adoption and she says to me that, uh, you know, back in those days, abortion really wasn't that heard of, but people were doing it. And she said her friends wanted her to have an abortion. This is going to ruin your life, blah, blah, blah. And she says, no, I'm giving him life. So uh, on the day I was born, she said she had every intention of, of keeping me. She said, but when I got to the nursery, she said, this, and after you were born, I went to the nursery to see you. And she said, as soon as I saw you, she said, I loved you so much. I knew I couldn't give you the life that you deserved. So I gave you a for adoption and I end up in an Italian Catholic musical family that every one of my brothers and sisters are all adopted from different places and each of us have a musical skill because my adoptive mother was a musician and made sure that we had music, made sure that we went to church, made sure we had faith. And so, you know, God works through sometimes in the most difficult times of our lives. So to save lives, to save babies. And so as an adopted child, I work with these uh, two wonderful women in Philadelphia and um, and they have a program called Adoption is a Living Option. But it also goes along with what Bob's doing at the JMJ Pregnancy Center. So if anybody has an extra dollar or two, you know, please donate to them. And uh, from that uh, experience and working with uh, adoption, I came up with this song based on the perspective of the child in the womb. And so I took it from uh, these women in, in Philadelphia, uh, Maria and Malone, and. Um, and, uh, I can't think, and I can't think of what her friend's name is. Anyway, nevertheless, two great women that uh, have this program and this great program that Bob is running to save lives. And so this is a song called, Let Me Live. In the quiet of your heart, the beat of life,
beat of life I've come to know. So to all those working at the JMJ Pregnancy Center, God bless you for the work that you do and in these difficult times. And those that are patrons and folks that can give, please give to this charitable, uh, wonderful place that's doing great work with Bob Perrin at the helm. So God bless you all. This is Charlie and Gotti. Have a great day.